Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. I'm going to go over a season reset. The very first one that you will go through for your account. This will be from season one going into season one plus stars reignited. So strap in, get your popcorn ready and stick with me Mr. Sneaky for today's video. So yes, we are logged in currently on the Server 65 account, if you remember when we did the Road to Glory series for the account. So what we've got on screen right now when we look at it is the you know, different areas that you can start out in. This is going to be Bernalang, Sofrostia, Daraland, and Zorland. So depending on where you select is obviously dependent on your alliance. Because you've got to remember, your alliance might have picked their starting region. To give you guys a little bit of actual guidance when you're looking at this map for the first time, obviously wherever you pick will be where you will relocate. And the diamonds is basically how populated that area is. So as you see, Burning Lands has the red one and there's too many players in the region. So I will not be able to join that region currently since it's obviously a bit too late. But maybe in the starting of the season, you might have been lucky and got in, right? But the others all are all yellow. These basically mean you can go in. Green means it's empty, so you can always go into a green one, right? So when you're looking at these maps, the way it actually is orchestrated is Burning Lands and Sofrostia can fight against each other inside of Kalatea. But if you start in Sofrostia, Sofrostia and Daraland can fight each other in Navula, and then Daraland and Zoland can fight each other within Forgotten Lands. Currently, the link between Bernalangs and Zolans is a hard lock, meaning you two cannot fight each other until you enter the Zone 2s, which is obviously Ogoru, Lorcan, and Hollandale. So for this scenario, we're going to click on Sofrostia. We're going to relocate here and showcase what it is like going into the new season. So your account will teleport randomly in the region and when you look at the very top of the screen this is your season reward so obviously we wasn't in any sort of alliance to get any extra rewards but we've got some crystals gems and obviously the goodies for completing it so we click claim get them rewards now and you can see now at the top for another 12 hours currently in this shop but this will last for a few days you are going to be able to now spend on what you want so since we was in the enduring section we will obviously always get these extra legendary hero tokens from here because this is only a one-time buy we can go into the common section and carry on buying and for everyone we would always suggest getting the legendary ascension emblem because this is what you guys are going to need to get those artifacts from level five all the way up to six so you're going to definitely need this so at the moment i've only got 500 left and if you're wondering how to increase these amount of crystals, what you could have earned, you do gain these from different scenarios back in season one. So the amount of kills or merits you've earned, the amount of dead troops and hospitals healed, even the build time in your alliance section, all these are contributing factors to increase that amount. So make sure if you want to try and get as much of this as possible, try and honestly fight as hard as you can. And that is a really good way of gaining a bunch of crystals. So from here, you can see a different bunch of things you can buy still. And for me, I would always suggest buying the CP tokens first, because with the prestige, you're going to be able to get this prestige really quickly anyway. And you, it's kind of a waste, in my opinion, in buying any of this. So what you want to do is get the CP. And then if you have any left over start buying all of the mana this will give you the best start when you're going into the season so for me i'm going to get this extra 1000 cp go in and that is now the start of the season we can zoom out and see where we have landed you can see there's no mist anymore which is good so you'd have to re demist anything but you are going to be able to go into the scouting area wherever we've put him in our old city we can find them Do -do -do -do. he's around here somewhere there we go but you can now go into this other tab as you can see so the other tab is going to allow you to get all of these rewards again so that's what we was talking about last season if you didn't get all of these it's fine but it was best to do it since you're going to get a full reset 
on all of them. So from here, what you want to be doing is pretty simple. You want to click deploy, get your multi create tool out, and get your starting setup ready. So I am going to be using Eliana, and I'm going to have Garwood leveled up as well as a double front line, and I'm going to be using my Nico because he's level five on his skills. Let's get his archers out and the Guan Win for us as well because she is a very good archer as you guys know so we got our main setup here and the thing is from here what we'll do once we've leveled them up we're gonna be going to obviously try and figure out our pairings right so as you can see the new system is in place so you can get to six star heroes and five star heroes now on the epics which is really cool but as, you know, as we was talking about, we've picked our Guan Win and Nico as our starting heroes. We could even put Kanara as a deputy now with one of them as well as Craig, right? So that's why we're going to go down this route and actually focus on having a double archer set up in the future. So from here, it's going to be a very simple thing. You're going to go and find your darklings that you're going to be able to fight. It might still do the old school route, as you can imagine. So you're going to have to work your way all the way back up from one all the way up to the current ranking, which will be 10. But that's fine, right? So once you get this first 10 all the way up to for us now level 15, you're going to start killing all the level 15 barbs and leveling up all of these starting heroes in order to get them in to level 20. So what we're going to do is kill a few barbs right now for you guys to see. So you can see us leveling up in the start on what you basically want to be doing in the early game. And then we'll go into the next section. So... It's a pretty simple thing. Again, if you guys haven't done this, you should should have done this from the get-go. So you can see everyone starts off the same. And this is why it's really important as well to get that CP, right? Because now we're wasting the CP just to get going. But then we have our CP bought from the Idrisil store. That's going to allow us to basically carry on with a more effective and efficient farming method. So we're going to kill this next barb and then once we've done that we will go into the dragon trials and start to explain the process and what you should be doing. So now we're in the dragon trials. So it's pretty simple as you can see we, we had no stars but we've been able to fight obviously some of our patrols. So it's going to allow us to have a nice starting setup when it comes to our marches right. So we're going to start killing these dragon trials as fast as possible because as soon as you can get these done you got to remember the passive income on dragon glass prestige and xp is what's going to benefit your account and there's even that race at the start of the game which is an event to try and get to stage 55 as fast as possible so if you want to try and do that go for it and it's a really fun race to try and complete so we're going to keep doing a few of these and you see how easy it is from the beginning compared to before right because you've got to remember we've already got tier 3 units we've already got our research done from last season all kept so our units and our heroes are a lot stronger compared to before right so it's going to make this stage a lot more easier for you to go through and this is what you're going to be doing in the first day right you're going to be trying to grind out as much as you can on your dragon trials as well as your leveling on your heroes so you're going to be able to keep pushing even harder in the dragon trials at the end of the day right pretty self-explanatory really easy thing to do nothing too crazy here on the gameplay wise but you can see it's nice and simple we're going through and we've already got some of our stars right so what you want to do from here is one of the biggest tricks in the start of the season right so we've got our marches that we're using as our patrols killers right our main pvp marches but we still need to level up our gatherers so the way we actually do this is by using the xp totems you gained at the very start through those dragon trials we just killed so by hitting this just a few times so we can get him to level four it's going to allow us to put three points into earth's grace and that's all we want to do here we're going to put three points in that's going to allow us to gain 1.2 percent of the resources gathered 
into XP allowing us to get that 12k experience, right? So now that's one hero done. We're going to do the same for our Keller because Keller doesn't have the talent ready. So we just go click, bang, bang, got the next one done. And same again into Earth's Grace. And by doing this now, we have our basic gatherers set up. So we can then just go to gather our resources. And by using our Chap Char, for example, he is now going to gather this resources, come back and level up without any worries. So we don't have to worry about it anymore. The gatherers are going to work as they're going to work. And you're going to need to do that, remember, guys, for your other gatherers. So this does include any of the following, right? So you've got Pan, if you need to do it on Pan, as well as Indus. You could try it on order, but you're going to use your XP books on order later on when you're going to need a dedicated builder when you go into Pass 1, which we'll talk about in a different video. So let's move on to another section of the new area, which is Season 1+. Plus. So now we're going to go into the special artifact compendium. So when we go into the top left or right corner again, you're going to click on the book this time. And since we only hit level three, the lowest one, we have the enduring artifact compendium. As you can see, it's a lot of gems to hit for the amount and you do only get 20 attempts and this is something i would only recommend to those really high spenders or someone that has a lot of gems and been waiting to use them because in this one artifact compendium you can get better chances on certain artifacts so for now we can get the visage of sanctus as well as heart of Kamase in here and it's a 12.6 percent chance of getting a legendary in here right the reason why is when we go down there's an 87.3 percent chance of getting a purple and when you look any lower there is no blues or greens so you're going to be guaranteed a epic or legendary every single time so it's a really good way of getting a lot of artifacts that you might not have already had in the arsenal so from here, once you've done this and you've maybe spun it a little bit more, the only things you've got left to do is to check out the events. The events that are going on is quite fun for a lot of players. You have the Dragon Trails race, as mentioned before. You go to the rankings and you can see how long it takes other players to get to stage 55. And by doing this, you do get some really good rewards. As you can see here, 24 hour speed up is nothing to be ashamed of with 2k gems and... 15,000 troop capacity reserve, meaning you can train 15,000 worth of troops just like that. So do like to have that in the Dragon Trails race. You've got the Eleanor's Crisis here. You will also have the Wheel of Destiny, which will allow you to try and get the Sindrion or Fregar. However, I don't have it here due to obviously being on holiday. We kind of did miss the timer for it. However, you will get the Wheel of Destiny for a chance of gaining those heroes. But as you can see, the first strongest lord will be for Sindrion. So if you're looking to unlock him, this is a really good way of doing it. If you've been stocking up all those speed ups and everything you're going to need for him so when we go up you still get the great revival the exact same you did at the beginning of the very first season when you started the game so this is gives you the no relocation cooldown as well as the build speed and the recovery speed for alliances right so it helps you out massively in the starting phase of growing you continue to have the behemoth hunter and we can even check out the past rankings of who was you know the top as well as the elite raids on who got it right really cool to see that and then we go to eliana's crisis which is running alongside at the moment as well as strong foundations which is a really cool building power event so that is basically it guys it is now go time when you're playing the game you're in the season reset you're just going to continue as you did before but obviously you're going to decide who are you going to be your starting heroes and your main pvp pairs so i hope you've enjoyed today's videos smash a like comment and subscribe with me mr sneaky an official call of dragons content creator for the game right and if you've enjoyed it what can i say it's new we're here with the camera it's a bit weird it's a bit awkward as well looking at there at times that we're getting used to it don't you worry about it but until the next one stay safe stay sneaky peace out